God bless you on this beautiful afternoon. Well, listen, I thank you for tuning in uh, on today. Uh, it's Sunday, the 22nd, I think it is. Uh, I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. Uh, the ones that love one have caught the virus and some of you loved ones have passed away. Uh, we're definitely going to pray for uh, you that you... Um, continue to be strong because this is uh, if you're not really strong in your mind this could be uh, mind-boggling a little bit a lot of people called me and and pastor what's going on and what do you think's going on and uh, first I want everybody to know I'm not God I, I am a pastor but I don't fly six inches off the ground in the morning and God don't meet me in my bedroom with a big bright star uh, and, 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 and heavens and clouds and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. So I have to fight too, and I have to stay in this fight. I want to talk today after we pray uh, about Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 through 2. And we are alive, so uh, if I mess up, then hey, that's, that's part of uh, preaching. Uh, I want to talk about Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2. I'll probably uh, do verse 2, um, but I, I like to pray and, uh, and uh, after I read the scripture. It said, but iniquity have separated. Iniquity, my sin, my, my sin. Look at your neighbor and say, my sins. Not, not no one else's sin, your sin. Have separated me between you and and your God, and your sin have hidden his face from you, that he will not hear. Now, now, a lot of people ask, Pastor, what I'm doing, I go to church all the time, and it don't seem like I'm being blessed. You're blessed when you got up. You're blessed when you can hear and see and smell. If you got yourself dressed this morning, you're blessed. If you ate some last night, you're blessed. I, I'm trying to figure out what people need to know that, uh, 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 what makes them blessed. A uh, nice car sitting outside, don't make you blessed because uh, after a couple months or so, you paying that car payment, it, it may get tough. You may lose a job. So first thing we say, well, why is God making this happen? I just got a new car and now I lost my job. Why is God doing this? Maybe it's because, but your iniquity, your sin have separated you between you and your God. Are you feeling what I'm saying? That relationship that just can't get off the ground. It seems like you've been in it for years and he keep on hitting you. Maybe it's because your sin, your iniquity have separated you between your God. Because if you stand still and be strong, God will fix it. It's all about a relationship with God. So that's what we'll be talking about also today is a relationship with God. You need a relationship with God. You got a relationship with Pookie. Did I say Pookie? Yes, I did say Pookie. Pookie ain't doing nothing. He, he, matter of fact, he's just like a big kid. The only thing he do, he won't work. And the only thing he do is uh, eat up all the Captain Crunch and smoke blunts. And that's what you're dealing with. Maybe because of your sin have separated you between your God. See, Look at your neighbor and say, yo, God. See, because one thing about it, this whole walk, this whole life is really, it ain't about mama. It ain't about, it ain't about grandmama went to that church 27 years. No, you better find a church. You better go in there. And when the people roll their eyes at you, look crazy at you, you may come in there smell like weed or beer or whatever you did before you uh, came to church. Uh, or you may not have done nothing. Just want to find a church home. And people be hood winking you and looking at you crazy when you come through the door. Uh, uh, and, and that's church folks you got to go past that you got to find a church you feel somewhat comfortable with because I'm telling you there ain't no church going to really make you feel comfortable when you get there because it's a heaviness when you get there that you already know but your iniquity have separated you before between your sin so ain't no need to get mad at church folks when you get in there because church folks is still fighting with their sin Everybody that's in the church got a problem. <laughs> My God, let me pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you right now just to bless this nation. Lord, bless everybody that's going through with the virus. Bless the one that's lost loved ones. 
with the virus. Bless the one that's ill with the virus. Lord, only you know the end of this whole thing. So we give you the glory, we give you honor, and we give you the praise. Let me find my hand if you can't find yours. In Jesus' name, if I can get five people out there to help me say amen and amen. And we got to understand, do we really know how to love? I, I, don't really, I really think there are some classes need to be taught on love. We get, we try to say we fell in love or we got in love, but... You can't get nothing if you don't know how to take care of it when you get it, if that makes sense. We need some courses, pastors and, and teachers and evangelists and deacons and, and sermonic solos and, and choir directors and, and the church person that cut the church grass. We need to teach people how to love. And I just don't think people really know how to love because love means that you drop everything about you and you love. If you wake up with a hating spirit, only thing you want to do is cause chaos. You're not happy until chaos come. And you can't figure, I don't do no God. I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't do no God. There ain't no God doing nothing for me. Well, you, you, He just gave you breath to say all that crazy stuff you just said out of your mouth. But have your iniquity have separated between you and your God, and your sin have hidden his face from you, that he will not hear. He, he ain't trying to fool with you right now. It's sort of like back in the day when you was a little kid and you don't want to hear no, no, nobody, or your mama or something, you go, ah. and I believe that's the way God do us sometimes. He ain't trying to hear us, because your iniquity have separated you from God. That's why jobs ain't coming through. That's relationships is bad. Money is funny and change is strange. And, and because I do believe we don't know how to love. The, the Bible, listen, look at this. Uh, in the King James Version, the Bible speaks of love 310 times. In the, in the New American Standard Bible, it, it, it talks about it 551 times. In the NIV, it talks about it. 50, 500, excuse me, 538 times. So it's important to love. Come on, somebody, talk back to me. But your iniquity, what are you doing to help change this virus? Are we just doing a lot of talking? And I know we talk about the presidents, and then that's cool, and I have too, to a stint. But I also know that I'm praying while I'm talking because the only thing can change this thing that's going on is the prayers of the righteous that prevail as much. We got to pray, church. Pookie, Ray Ray Nim, Chiquita, Tuchika, Mercedes, Georgia, Carolyn, Vera, Naomi, Roger, Paul, George, Charles. OD, all of y'all got to pray. Dope dealers, crack cocaine smokers, pill poppers, street walkers, prostitutes. It's time for all of us to pray. I'm so ready to get done with this. So we need to pray and protect ourselves and love on one another and, and, and get done with all it. Why are we, we mad? We have to change this, people. He said, when my people that is called by my name humble themselves, seek my face, pray. And he said, turn, turn from this crap you're doing. But your iniquity, but your iniquities have separated between you. I'm getting excited now. I feel my help. You and your God. Don't point, don't point it. No, no, no. Don't point at nobody else. What have you doing? To help this thing change, to grow your church, to help the pastor out, to help your co-worker. And a lot of y'all have to understand, a lot of us is not blessed because you look at your job for just a paycheck. Don't look at it. You know you're working for a paycheck. God know it. I know it. Everybody know when you get a job, feel application, you want the money. I understand that. But 
you have to go in that job to change the atmosphere of that job. Especially the Christian people that's calling themselves preach, uh, Christian and nobody want to sit with you at break because you're just so messy. That ain't the Christian I talk about. That's right in the room with the boys looking at the naked, naked magazines. That ain't the type of Christian man I'm talking about. Cuss sometimes and, and, and in the choir on the usher board. Mouth is just as filthy when you leave church and you got somebody looking at you saying, hmm. And they go to church. But your, your iniquity, your sin. My God. Well, listen, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, uh, I, I'm to preach long enough. And, and I, I think somebody got the message. Your iniquity. Or your iniquity. God bless you.